Okay, let's have a look at getting organised for our group presentations commencing in week 10. Now, most of you have enrolled in a group and given your topic to Sharon. However, some of your topics are slightly broad. So what I'd like you to do is on your LMS, there's a page presenting health units and that follows directly after the week six and seven lecture and resource materials, module four. So what you need to do is go through the pages on presenting health units and we'll do that in the workshop today. So firstly, let's have a look at the group topics page where it has your who's in your group, the topics you've chosen and how to get organised to get um, started in your preparation for your presentation. So I'm now on that page, group topics. So there we've got our different groups, Jethro, Drew, Drew and Bonnie. Now they've chosen wellness, however, and th these guys, lifestyle and very broad topics. You need to start thinking about a more specific topic that falls under that umbrella. Uh, that's not bad, however, you guys might need to refine that slightly. So what I've done... Uh, Eugene, Ben, you've still to choose a topic, and Tom, you're in this group here with Haggai. So I've popped in the topics that Sharon gave out on the first week as a handout, and I've put them back on here. So you might want to go through those and check those off. And let's try and broaden our presentation so we don't have too many people repeating and doing the same thing. That'll benefit you guys in the long run because that'll all be resources that you can use. Now, once you've chosen your topic, I want your group to sit there and go through, and by all means you can pause the video now, go through and think of all the related topics and ideas that you would teach on that particular, uh, like body image for example. What could and what do we cover there? We actually would cover self-esteem in that as well. To help you, you might want to go back to that week two's lecture on curriculum and have a look at the sites, um, either the national curriculum or the, uh, and I've, I've got resources which I'll show you where the, the list, the scope and sequence charts, where you can have a look at those, the topics, and they actually do give you a sequence of how to teach that. Another great resource actually you've got is Sharon, who's only been teaching this very recently, so she'll be able to help you, give you some ideas there. So the next thing you do is then have a look at that assessment task and the criteria on the submission page. Now I've numbered the criteria, uh, most of the criteria below here, with a little bit of a description of sorts of things you need to do for that. So have a read through each of these. And I would nominate a specific person in your group to, and it's their job, to do that particular task. And then you meet again next week with a goal of what you hope to achieve by next week to report in with your group. So the first thing you need to do is you need to establish the relevance of your topic to the curriculum. So you need to go back into the Australian curriculum, look at where the content descriptors and the elaborations specifically focus on your unit and there'll be a focus area with those uh, food and nutrition or respectful relationships or alcohol and drugs and so on. So see if you can find as many outcomes and things where, where it's showing directly the relevance to our Australian curriculum. The other part of this is to the lives of young people in Australia. So that's really looking at reports, statistics, current research on how that is relevant in the broader scheme of things in terms of our Australian health. So Australian Institute of Health and Welfare, Australian Bureau of Statistics will have reports on those priority areas that relate to your topic and you cite those. So that's just a matter of finding all those resources, those websites and so on um, and creating a page to report back to uh, with next week. Another person can start looking at that scope and sequence table. You can build that from those ones that are already written from our curriculum framework scope and sequence planners. Again, you'll find those on the multimedia presentation resource page that I've got for you. And I've already got sample scope and sequence tables there for you that you can 
um, adjust there as, as a Word document so you can use them how you wish. But the table should have at least what are some suggested learning outcomes. Well, you can just pop in the outcomes that your group member found in uh, part one alongside what your topic content of, and it, and it might just be a sequence of four lessons you would teach, um, STIs for example. You might look at specific resources that would link with those topics and just put them in a table as a hyperlink so that you could perhaps show those in your presentation. It's really a summary, <clears throat> a table of what you could use for resources, your learning activities that you could teach over four weeks. The details then come out in these two pages, number three and four. So then it's just a resources related to your topic and you might want to order that into books, readings, websites, um, games, workshops, professional development. You don't have to write it out like a bibliography in that respect. You can create links, put pictures in and again I'll show you some examples there. But for starters, just start with a big list and then as a group you can work out how you want to arrange that. <clears throat> Another job, and of course if you each work on one job over the next um, or two jobs over the next three weeks, then you'll be um, well on track. What are some teaching strategies that show creative, critical and inclusive pedagogy? So have a look at the resources that you've found. What are some teaching strategies you could utilise there? Once you've done that, you've got all the information that you can use to create a short clip on how uh, anything to do with your content area. So here's an example if we were looking at year two for road safety and you can watch that in your class as well. When I go through the wiki pages later you'll also see a number of examples um, that you can have a look at for there. Now I've created the wikis already and I'll go into those in the next clip. So right now before we work on the wikis I want your groups to go through Choosing your topic, what are the sorts of sequence of lessons, things we might teach, brainstorm that, and then start working out who's responsible for which of these things here. And what are you going to have done and ready to report back next week. So that's your first task for today.